hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel where we talk about everything lifestyle marriage we share recipes and a few gossips here and there but today i have news for you i hope you've subscribed i hope you turn on your notification you told a friend to follow us on youtube we need more subscribers and i hope you're sharing our videos so today hmm today today i'm going to preach because i have a testimony This girl here has a testimony. What won't he do? Your girl is pregnant! minimum. Oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I'm so excited. I'm officially 14 weeks pregnant today. And yes, I'm gonna take you on the journey with me. My pregnancy updates will be coming once, once every other four weeks if I can keep up. Hmm, this is the furthest I've been pregnant. If you've been watching my channel, if you are following me on Instagram, you pretty much know my story. I've lost two pregnancies in the past. One was a miscarriage, and then I had an ectopic pregnancy. That is what people refer to as ectopic. And ectopic is slightly different from what I experienced because I had one in the womb and one trapped in the tube. So that is like a twin pregnancy loss. And that was last year, um, somewhere February, towards the end of February 2019 and today we are in 2020 and God has done it Jehovah has done it for me I'm 14 weeks pregnant the furthest I've ever been pregnant is about 11 weeks so 14 weeks guys it's a big deal it's a big deal like I <laughs> they wanted me to ask to be brave thank you so much so guys I just want to tell you about how it's been and with um the loss in the past and how it kind of it kind of affects you in a way with even the next pregnancy even moms who have never experienced miscarriage even shared this that they are a bit anxious when they are pregnant about losing it or something happening one way or the other so you can imagine in my case that i've had this thing going on but this very one was different my previous pregnancies, I've had a few challenges here and there. Challenges prior to the miscarriage or the heterotopic. Like, I've had severe back aches, and then people tell me at that stage, you don't even have to have that kind of back ache. This time, it's just been like a walk in the park. Not literally, but it's been fun. It's been, it's been pretty cool. So, how did I find out? I found out on, uh, I think, somewhere in June, towards the end of the month, and... Fortunately, unfortunately, Farouk wasn't around, so I had to share it with him through WhatsApp. Oh, guys, I need to share his reaction with you, and now he replied. So I was so tired, so early in the morning when I realized, she, he traveled two days before I found out I was pregnant, but he kind of like sensed it. Like this man, he understands my cycle more than anyone else. He kind of sensed it, was like, he's suspecting because I'm a bit late for my menses and all of that, but I didn't want to, you know, keep my hopes high and then like I don't want to be disappointed in any way so I just like oh I just brushed it off but two days after he had left then I got the courage to get the pregnancy kits and then I tested early in the morning and bingo the girl was pregnant so I shared with him on whatsapp and I'm going to insert his reaction so that you see I screen recorded the whatsapp chat we had so that you see how excited this guy was um I think he was even more excited than I was because I mean, I saw it and I just had to go back to bed. So in the, in the WhatsApp, you see that I'm like, oh, good news, I'm going back to bed because I was tired. So, um, that was six weeks pregnant and um I, I had to wait even though i've done the like urine test and all of that i wanted to do the blood test so that I, i'm sure it's confirmed but so the later on what i had to wait for product to come then we went to do the blood test a week later and we found out i said like there's a baby in the world so guys i don't know i don't know like i'm i mean my feelings you know so I kept it very low key 
this girl like you won't even believe it's just six weeks pregnant i never lied on my tummy i never I was like i'm guarding this baby and seven weeks we had to go for a heartbeat scan i don't know if that's what it's called an ultra scan to hear a happy and to our surprise we have two babies in the world two babies so yes we expecting twins oh god my song oh my song for the moment is capable god like what would he do double for our trouble thank you jesus so we have twins guys we have twins and today i'm 14 weeks pregnant so i only broke the news to my friends when i crossed my 13th week because that's i, I have this pregnancy app on my phone and it says that's the time that you should share the news because now you've crossed let's say a very dangerous stage where things happen so like now you're in a safe zone so after 13 weeks i told my friends and they were excited like they were just so happy 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 i mean ah, everyone knows how much i want this so so the guys even the crew behind i i told i humphrey i told humphrey and co like i told them way before <laughs> i told them way before yeah i think yeah i told them way before i was even 12 weeks yes because these are my paypal like these are my my, my g's so guys, what has it been like so far? When is a morning sickness? Mamas, please, mothers, who, you, you, please let me know because I haven't, <laughs> this is my furthest in pregnancy. Why do they call it morning sickness? It's like an all day sickness. Oh my God. It's been terrible, but I've, I'm, now, now as I'm recording this, I no longer feel that way, but I had severe morning sickness. Like I couldn't hold anything down anything i eat i have to like just throw up water i couldn't even settle i couldn't drink anything cold i didn't want spicy food i had severe heart burns i don't think i'll ever even look at apple the fruit apple in the same way i used to look at it i can never eat apple again i've just cancelled it out of like the food i like when i even take in an apple hey my sisters and my brothers like it's it's like i just I don't, I don't even know the feeling. I don't know how to describe it. It's so acidic. It's like it's burning my throat. It's like I just want to take out my esophagus. Literally, that's how I feel. I tried on one attempt. It was bad. And then I was like, maybe I'll, it was the wrong timing. So some days passed. I tried again and it was the same thing. I said, me, I am done with apple. So that's been my experience. So I just didn't take um spicy foods for a minute like and i love my spicy food me ha huh? now i was taking soup like tomato soup hi ah so fat but now 14 weeks i can say i'm 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 better i'm 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 i'm, I'm good and the weirdest thing i've had and because comparing myself to my friends who have been pregnant before and asking them how has it been for them was i started having restless leg syndrome really fast rls that's what it's called i guess that is when i'm sleeping my legs like they start burning and i think why that is in my case is i just was so paranoid that i just started sleeping on my sides immediately i mean when i told my doctor i've been sleeping on my sides at eight weeks pregnant i was like chichi relax you can even lie on your back now you are fine till about 14 weeks here yeah, then you can start sleeping on your side but i started the moment i did that you test please so you're not taking any risk here like i seen I don't, hey, if you, even if I'm driving and huh, there's like a bump in the, hey, God, I literally suspend my, my bum bum on the seat like this. Me in pet trouble, be a, me in pet shift, be a, if I'm in your car and your shock absorbers are not working, hey, God, you see that you picked a diva. This is me talking to bad wife. Like, I didn't know what kind of shaking me. I did, hey. I've been a drama queen this past few weeks, but. Charlie, I don't, I don't wish that for anybody. It's not me. When things happen to you like that, hmm. imagine the route to my mama's house. Hmm. I'm coming here carrying a vex. Because I'm like, I knew this, this road, this road would be my downfall. This road, if I was an MP crank, I would just start a road just because of my pregnancy. Yes, but. So, guys, um, yeah, the morning sickness, I don't know why they call it morning sickness, because from my experience, it was like a full day thing and when we found out it was twins to another thing i didn't i i forgot to mention oh you should see our parents reaction it's like some have started buying things as i speak like 
like they started buying things i'm like what gender are you buying they said oh we are buying i mean new tones and gray stuff that one there every gender can wear like they are aggressive <laughs> oh my already so they started shopping and all that like like our close family and friends everyone is just so excited everyone can wait like people have been checking on us people have been very very supportive and shout out to my husband he's never missed any of my hospital appointment like no matter where he is he will come and he'll go with me and the next we're like i'm kind of worry like us every day my husband is like every day every every he's never missed any single appointment like he will be there in person and go with me and shout out shout out shout out shout out shout out Charlie, oh yeah, dear, you're doing well. You're doing well, Mr. Farouk Yakubu. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So somewhere around 13 weeks, I had a little scare. I'm sure that time I was just like, this my woman safe to be too much. Like I was just then I started crying. I know I don't know my emotions were a bit funny. Even if when I'm watching a movie and something happens somewhere in the movie, I'll be crying as if it's a real life thing. And then sometimes you can't even finish the movie. And even when I'm watching a movie and like something happens to a pregnant woman, oh, that one just like I have a whole funeral. I have to mourn for the dead. And no, it's it's deep. Even now, it's wearing off, but it's there. Like I'm just too emotional now. So what happened was I had a little scare. I was just there and I was like, I, I don't feel the babies. And brothers and sisters, I. At that stage, I was not feeling anything. I've never felt anything. So I don't know what I'm saying that I don't feel the babies. So far, I was like, what do you mean by you don't feel the babies? Have you seen anything that is not regular? I said, nothing. We need to go have a scan. I just need to hear their hearts beat. We went to the hospital. Look, I, I checked in as emergency. The next were like, you won't hear yourself. I was like, look, I'm talking all right, but I feel something is wrong they're like chichi nothing is wrong okay well we will try and you know expedite your whole like seeing the doctor consultation and all of that so we went and then when i i heard that the babies were there they have a beating i just started crying the doctor was like where do your bro new <laughs> no woman comes here and start crying me here in a heartbeat like i was just so emotional like i was happy i started crying the doctor was like oh Oh, oh your brony. I was like, oh no, you don't you don't see us here. So that's it. I had that scare and then uh, like I, my my mom, my dad, everyone was like, oh god. They were so sure nothing was wrong. I was the only one who thought something was wrong. I need to be positive. I'm very positive, but sometimes I just like I'm just I'm just looking out for them. I want them to be fine because I feel like this is a replacement from God and I just don't want to ha. Huh. Alright. So that was it. I know I'm, I know I'm a bit of a diva, but you know my fault. I want them to be fine. At a pinion, at a kakra. I know you watch this someday. I just love you. <laughs> Guys, I'm pregnant. Oh Lord, let me drink something. You know what? Now I love ice. So um, the first few weeks, um, to the first week, God, I couldn't take anything cold. So I drink like room temperature like i don't keep nothing in the fridge and before i don't like my food piping hot because i really eat very very fast so it just has to be warm but now i want my food piping hot like right from the fire pregnancy does things to you and my cravings started from let's say the 12 week and i was eating king and pepper every day like every single day like i'm not I'm not a kinky person like that. I'm a rice person, so eating kinky every day. And I don't I didn't want any pepper for my house. And typically when I buy kinky on normal days, I grind my own pepper because I'm just not comfortable with the kinky celeste pepper. But now it's like the kinky celeste pepper is it's like it's the pendel of the whole food. If that thing would be inside, the food's safe. What's the point of me buying the kinky? Like that's the icing on the cake. So I need to get that kinky pepper. And I buy it from this woman called I don't know if they call them Sahara or something. They're in some place she corner be, but their kink is the bomb. Honestly, a e mutton -e -e like this. So I can eat it just like that without any fish. I don't know why. And it, I mean, it's just the pepper. I just want the pepper. That was when I started being able to eat spicy stuff. And from the 13th week, ice. I chew on ice. Like, I love some ice. 
I love things very chilled. When I'm going out, I even pack some ice and go with it. I don't know if it's good, but that's what I've been doing. And what else? What else have I missed out in my 14 weeks? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, my friend's reaction. My friend's reaction. I told you guys they were so excited. Like everyone was just so excited. My my parents, my in-laws decided buying baby clothes here. Yeah. I don't know. What for? Because no one knows the gender. So I don't know. And I've I've actually taken it um the break from work. I haven't been to work in in about six weeks, eight weeks. I haven't been to work, like I, never ever. I've not stepped a foot in the restaurant. I, I don't want pressure, I, I don't want heat, I don't want people to upset me. I don't, I, I'm, I'm keeping. My pet set will be a bit stressed to me. To see how long me bake it. And to know, my pet stress. I haven't been to work for the past six weeks, six to eight weeks, but I'm actively online. I'm still doing the online stuff I do for the business. And Farouk is there, he's doing his operation stuff as usual. The workers have been amazing and my mom has been very supportive with my event so she goes out there to support and then you know make sure the guys are in check and then the clients are happy so everything is going on pretty well i feel like the timing is just right i don't know god is so great because there are systems in place now and i really don't have to even be there work is work is moving so um in my next video definitely i'm going to share my week 15 to week 20 by then i'll be five months pregnant <laughs> God, I'll be coming back to you. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you as well. I don't know how it's going to be like, but I'm hoping I'm going to be in a great mood like I am today at week 14. Because now my mood is just so perfect. My energy level is great. And I seem to be enjoying it now more. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of my belt. Like, I'll just get up and you see it slightly. Because I don't feel like it's big, big enough. But twins, honestly, it's big because... People see me and they think that I'm, I'm like way there, way there, yeah. But I don't know how it's gonna be like in five months time. So, guys, before I end this, just gonna give you a slide, you see something? I think you do. All right, guys, thank you and stay tuned and I'm going to be doing an update every other four weeks if I can.